Hello YouTube, we got another video and this time it is going to be how to side against Shadals. The new deck that's breaking the meta. How do you face them? How do you beat them? Pretty much we're going to go through all the cards that you have at your disposal. It pretty much says two ways uh, you want to do get rid of them. You want to have them be banished or negate or prevent them from using their effects on the field or the grave. Once you can do that, you pretty much have game. There's nothing to shut all that can do if they don't have the grave or the field. So, an, an easy card that a lot of people could side would be Artifact Scythe. You go activate Sanctum when they uh, they activate Fusion, Chain Sanctum, Summon Scythe, and Fusion fizzles out and they don't get anything because they can't summon from the extra deck. Next one would be Non Fusion Area. Neither player can Fusion Summon. Pretty pretty straightforward. It's not the most powerful because they can just go Foolish Burial Dragon on it, but it could prevent, stop them for maybe a turn or two, which could give you an advantage. The next card, which is a really nice card, could be very painful. It's Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. Drop a spell card, negate, should all fusion, they cannot use it for the rest of the duel, which could give you a lot of advantage, just a lot of advantage. Then we have Soul Drain, card in effect cannot activate in the banished or graveyard. Monsters that are banished and are in the graveyard cannot activate their effects. This hurts a lot of meta decks. This is Bujums and Dolce, so yet it also hurts your dolls because now they don't get their effects. Now you have Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, negates all their dark monsters. Nephilim will be unaffected by this, but and Midrash would also be unaffected by this because hers is a con uh, continuous. And the Nephilim's a light monster, so he'll um, be unaffected, be it all the other Shadows will slow down. And this can really hurt. Uh, the Shadal deck because it also hits the Grave too, so it's pretty much just like another Soul Drain. And then we also have Super Poly. Super Poly is nice because it can clear two of the monsters out on off their side of the field and then you can summon your own Nephilim. So if they have Midrash and Nephilim on the field, you send them to the Grave and you get uh, your own Nephilim. Now their effects would go off if they hit the Grave, so it can be kind of bad, but yet you clear two monsters off the board, got one, you got Nephilim. And so now your opponent has to play a little bit differently and they pretty much have to crush their own Nephilim into uh, yours so that way it will be destroyed because otherwise they just won't have a response. So you can create a board and have some form of defense that could be surprising and it's a really mean thing to do with Super Poly or opponent's cards. Now onto the banishing cards. Defissure, pretty straightforward. Not a lot of cards uh, decks could run this unfortunately but yet if you have access to Defissure or Macro and there's any cards sent to the graveyard so you can pull that and have a really decent advantage but a lot of people are going to start citing is normal mana cross out uh, target one face down monster uh, destroy it and you move it to play if it's a flip effect monster you can play all monsters with the same name in both players deck so the deck cards you'd want to hit would either be blizzard, dragon, or falcon those would be the ones that I'd really want to hit mainly falcon or dragon so that way you have your uh, spells and traps to protect. So normal mana cross out can be a very painful thing for your uh, for your doll player to run into, and a lot of people are probably going to start fighting this, maybe even maining it, just because uh, fire and ice and a thing, and a lot of players like to set fire and ice. So this could be a tech card that a lot of people start running. Next would be space time travel. This any monster summoned from the hand or the extra deck gets shuffled back into the deck and you lose a thousand life points. So the Shadal Fusion Monster, the Elf Shadal, they do not get their effect when they go back, so cards that send them back to the deck, the hand, or anything, are really, really great against them because they don't get their effect. So, Space Time Trap holds. it's a re OCG right now, but I could see a lot of people start running it. Now we have Deep Dark Trap Hole. This is a less popular card, but yet it's pretty much a bottomless. It's uh, for any level 5 or higher effect monster that's special summoned and it banishes it so you get uh, and any of the should all uh, fusion monsters and should all beasts would be affected by this next you would have bottomless it's a staple already and it can be useful and then chaos trap hole which would negate the summon of a light or dark monster by paying 2000 life points and it banishes it so you could do a pretty decent amount of damage now the other card you could run would be Acid Trap Hole, which would uh, destroy any uh, set uh, monster that has 2,000 or less defense. Yet it doesn't banish it, so 
their effects would go off if you didn't have a card like Macro or D Fish or Soul Train out on the field already. But you could, if you do, then I'd suggest running Acid Trap will be it. Otherwise, if like you hit a Falcon, Falcon will come back. So this would be this is an iffy card, but it could it could work if you run other cards. So it all is they aren't that hard to beat. If you have the right cards, it's just that a lot of meta cards you don't, and can like you can't see a Bujin player running Soul Chain or Macrocosmo or Thief, as you just can't see them running that because that hurts them just as much as it hurts your doll. Same with Soul Chain. So really, a lot of decks are limited to cards like Artifact Scythe, Non Fusionary, and Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Yeah, we're, I'm probably gonna, we're probably going to see Norman the Crossout become more popular. Probably even go up in price, maybe. I think it will be a uh, main that a lot of people will, will start using, just to get out fire, just to get rid of fire and ice hand and uh, um, the Shadal card. So I suggest uh, just taking in the uh, Norman Cross out now, or keeping it in your side deck. If you have access to Shadow and Prisoning Mirror, definitely put that in your side deck. And if you have access to Soul Drain or Deep Vision, keep those cards in your side deck. I mean, you gotta understand how to beat the meta. That's a really important thing. And, yeah. This is a very short video. I mean, there isn't much to do against push hiding against it all. Like, negate, just negate the summon, negate their effects, prevent them. That all works, or just banishing them. I mean, I just love to get out macro or D fissure against the Shadal deck. They just can't do anything anymore. I mean, yeah, they still have the field. They can go dragon, but that's when we chain full drain. Uh, well, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was a short video. It really isn't much. I mean, it's not that hard. It's just, can you gain access to these cards? That's the question. Do you have access to these cards? If you don't, then you have to look at different cards. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.